Hey guys, I was just doing a little bit of online shopping. A very fun and dangerous quarantine habit. But if you're gonna do it, you might as well shop smart and save some money. So I've been loving this thing called Shop Tagger. It's basically an extension that you just add onto your computer and it's essentially your shopping assistant, which is really cool. It helps you stop kind of mindlessly shopping and it helps you plan your purchases. So I'm going to show you guys how it works. So when you're on a retailer's online store that you love, Shop Tagger pops right up. You can click it and then save the item so you can go back to it when you're ready. I love staying organized, so I love that Shop Tagger keeps everything in one place and it keeps it all organized so I can access it anytime. What's really cool about Shop Tagger is it sends you real time price and inventory updates on any products that you've saved so you can make sure to purchase them at the right time. When you save different items using Shop Tagger, they show up in your lists. But what I love so much is that you can actually organize each of your items into multiple wish lists. Like I did here with this dress section or this Zara section. You can keep your pieces organized by type of clothing, what store they're from, etc. So you can stay really organized and you can explore your different wish lists. Shop Tagger also saves you money by scanning the web for coupon codes and applying them at checkout. And Shop Tagger just launched a new cashback feature. You can earn cash via PayPal when you shop from select retail partners. You can check out the link down below in the description box to download Shop Tagger. And if you want to save as much money as possible, you should download Shop Tagger on both your computer and your phone. So if you find yourself developing a mild online shopping addiction during quarantine, I definitely think the Shop Tagger add-on is a great thing to try out to kind of cut out that mindless shopping and spending money when you can just wait to see if something goes on sale. So I usually like to take Sundays to kind of organize my week so that it's all kind of just laid out for me. I'm really visual, so I love just writing things down physically. I use the calendar on my phone, but it's just not the same. I love just like physically writing the days down and writing everything in that I'm supposed to do for this coming week. And it just makes me feel ready for the week, like I'm set up and organized. I just really like doing this on Sunday. So like this is what I did last week. I did week of and then I separate my days and just kind of write out sort of general things that I need to do. And then actually on a day-to-day -day basis, I write out my schedule like this. I just do the date and I do, I write schedule and I do actually times of what times my classes are at, if I have a call or a meeting. And then underneath that, I write to do. Hold for ambulance. Welcome to New York. And then under to do, I write the tasks that I want to complete that day. And I don't do anything really more specific than that. I don't time them out. I don't do anything like that. I just write them down and I write a little box next to them that I check off if I completed it. And usually under my to-do list is stuff that I need to do around the house or it's my homework assignments that I need to get done, emails I need to send. I'll honestly just write anything in there, but it's what I need to do specifically for that day. And sometimes I'll write underneath that maybe and that's stuff that I'll get done if I end up having extra time that day. Yeah, I do my general week outline and then I do my day-to-day -day schedule. Also, I'm just realizing you guys are probably seeing this stuff on my arm. I burned myself three times on our little like toaster oven thing. I don't know whether this means I'm amazing and I've just been cooking a lot or if it means that I'm really clumsy, probably a little bit of both. But yeah, really trying to not burn myself. I should write that down on my to-do list. It's so nice to lay out my week like this because just seeing it, it's just so much easier for me to wrap my mind around what tasks I need to get done. I'm gonna run and go get a coffee before class starts, but I wanted to show you guys this cute, cozy fall sweater that I got from Free People. Oh, I just love the color. Really giving me fall vibes. Goes really well with my G Polish 42nd Street. 
just really feeling all the fall feelings and I just love this big oversized cozy sweater and then I actually ordered this new mask because I feel like I've been getting some mask knee I don't know about you guys you can let me know in the comments but I ordered this one it's from this brand called night and it's a hundred percent silk so it says on the website that I guess it's better for your skin got my ballot in the mail for the November election. It's my first time really officially voting in a big election. I'm so excited. It's also just really nerve-wracking, I feel like, opening up the ballot and you don't want to mess anything up. I just want to make sure that I fill everything out correctly so that it's it qualifies. So it's a little nerve-wracking. Really important to vote in this election. If you haven't already, make sure that you are registered to vote. It's really easy to check it online. You can just Google voter registration. Make sure you're all signed up. Vote early if you can. It's so important to get your vote in as soon as you can if possible. If you don't feel like going to a polling station, you can do an absentee ballot. There's a lot of ways that you can vote and exercise your right. Make your voice heard and vote for the future that you want to see and that you want to live in. Just really important. Women only got the vote 100 years ago, so it's just something that we should not take for granted. So vote! Anything you want to say about that? <laughs> Guys, seriously vote. Seriously. It's official. <laughs> you did it! Yay! <laughs> up nice and tall think really long spine hey guys I know it looks like I'm naked but I'm wearing a towel promise I just got out of the shower and I thought that I would share my current skincare routine with you guys because I haven't updated it in a while and it's totally changed. Basically, I've been using a lot of product by this brand Biba, which I think she's a facialist in LA. I've seen so many celebrities and other YouTubers like Claudia Slusky talk about her product and I just saw so many good reviews about it so I wanted to try it out. What I wanted to do was I wanted to try to find a skincare line that was one line that had all the products that I wanted because I was I feel like I was using just a bunch of different products from different brands and this just makes it easier when it's just all from one place. So my skincare routine is mostly her products right now and I just kind of got them to test them out and I am seriously loving this routine. Her products feel so high quality and it just feels like I'm giving myself a facial every time I do my skincare routine. I've never gotten a facial from her, but now I really want to. <laughs> kind of feel like a fraud using her products and I haven't even gotten a facial from her, but they're so good. Biba's Micellar Water, which is basically, you know, the double cleanse system. You put this on to take off all of your makeup and your sunscreen that you've been wearing all day and it removes kind of dirt. So I just put it on a little cotton pad. And the reason I have the mini one is because she was sold out of the full size one. And then you just wipe your face down with the cotton pad. And it's really good at removing makeup. It's, it's one of the best makeup removers. It's incredible. I just hold it onto my eye where my mascara is for like 10 seconds and then I just gently remove the makeup but I've been just trying to be really gentle with my skin if you watch skincare by Hiram then you know what I'm talking about no tugging <laughs> and then after I do that I go in with my gentle cleanser she has stronger cleansers but 
I am not really acne prone, so just do some cleanser. After the cleanser, I go in with this Biba Plant Stem Cell and Peptide Serum. I never really do serums. I really haven't at all in the past, but I wanted to try one out and see if I liked it. And I've been really liking it. So I take it down onto my neck. With every skincare stuff that I do, I take it down onto my neck as well. And then I go in with the daily moisturizer. She has a heavier moisturizer if you have dry skin, but my skin isn't very dry, so I just do one pump of this and apply that all over my face. I try to be really gentle and I do it on my neck as well. And I go in upward motion. And same with my face, I just try to be really gentle and go in an upward motion if I can. And on my lips as well. And that's it for my nighttime skincare routine. In the morning, I do basically the same thing, but I use this broad spectrum SPF sunscreen by Elta MD. You guys have seen me use this before. But yeah, I've really been liking this. It's been working for me really well. I love this drying lotion that everybody loves. So on my little breakouts or pimples, like I have one right here, I'll put this on with a little Q-tip. Onto my breakout spots. Two other products that I've been loving skincare wise that I wanna share are these Youth to the People masks. I'm a sucker for a face mask. I just think it's such an easy way to have a really nice self-care moment. So I've been loving, this is the Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask from Youth to the People and you literally just apply it at night and it's an overnight mask. In the morning, my skin is just so soft, soft as a baby. This is a spirulina and kale spinach superfood face mask. And this one's a little bit different. You apply it to dry skin and then you remove it after 10 to 15 minutes. This one's kind of different. It's I feel like it's more cleansing and the other one is more hydrating, but I love them both for different purposes. Hey guys, today we are doing a G polish photo shoot. Zoo is going to be our photographer. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to take you guys along for the ride today. This is what I'm wearing. And these are my nails. I'm wearing Hell's Kitchen. So I thought I'd go all dark. Sapphire sky. 